family. You're welcome to Admiral Tracks channel. On this episode, we'll be talking about Trisia N9. Kindly subscribe, like, and share our videos for more content. Today, we'll be dealing with Atresia N9. Atresia N9 is a congenital deformity in animals, and in this particular case, piglet, where the anus is not formed properly or the anus is not formed at all. So this is a typical case of Atresia in a, in, a, in a pig. And we are going to try to repair. In this particular type, we have the, uh, the rectum opening into the vagina of the piglet. And so as you can see, the piglet is passing feces through the va vagina and the vulva. The brownish discharge from the around the vulva is actually the feces, which is coming directly from the rectum. That is because there is a, um, a, a fistula, rectovaginal fistula in there. And this fistula might have formed out of um, pressure. You know, the, there is a thin layer of cells between the walls of the vagina and the walls of the rectum. So sometimes when there is atresia ana in this case, and then the feces pile up in the rectum. You sometimes get um, the feces putting a lot of pressure on the walls, the thin walls of the vagina and then the rectum. When this happens, sometimes blood supply to those cells around the area is cut off, and that causes the cells there to die. When the cells there die, the feces, a, a fistula is formed. And in this particular case, the feces is able to exit through the vagina out to the external world. So, so in this particular video, we'll be looking at the surgical procedure, surgical way of correcting um, such rectal, uh, rectal vaginal fistula, and also the atresia ana, which is the absence of anus in this particular piglet. So for educational purposes, let us use this image to illustrate the anatomy of the rectum and vagina in the pig. So this is the rectum. This will be the colon all the way up to the other part of the intestine. And then this is the vagina. This is the vulva. The vulva is here. This is the vulva. And this is the vagina. We have cervix here. We have the uterus also here. Now our attention or focus will be around this area. So the rectum and then the vagina. So if we consider this particular piglet, there is a fistula. Most likely the fistula will be from here to here just a small hole from here, this part, the top to this part of the vagina. So the feces passes through here and comes here and exits through the body, through the vulva out of the body. So all this training is happening because on a normal day, the feces is, this is supposed to be the anus, which is an opening to the external part. This is the, the tail, the base of the tail is here. So the feces should have come straight here. But now when the feces gets here, it gets locked up here. And then through straining parts, uh, the feces is forced to come through this side before exiting through the vulva. So what we'll be doing is to open up this part, the anus, we'll open up this straight part into the external um, environment, external part of the body at, at the base of the, of the tail. And then after we'll close the opening over here so that we'll have a very fixed uh, rectum and anus, and then we'll have a vagina and then a vulva without the feces passing through this part. The, this part of the vulva or the vagina. So technically, that is what we'll be doing surgically to fix the 
atresia ani and then also the rectovaginal fistula when you palpate the blind anus you can actually feel the blind end of the rectum and so physical examination is very important and the structures that you need to be careful of around that area is the anal sphincter if you look at the line from the base of the tail you can actually see it that is supposed to be the original opening so in making your incision you make sure that you you incise along the original opening just to make sure that you don't tamper with the anal sphincters because if you did you are going to have complications even after creating the 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 artificial anus it is very important so in this particular section we made our incision and we went deeper carefully and we carefully until we were able to locate the blind end of the rectum we did that um and then we were able to fix it now from this part onwards uh, you may find some blood in there so this this is a caution if you are not if you are unable to stand blood kindly you can forward it to the end i will make this part also as fast as possible so basically these are some of the the protocols you need to follow you need to make sure that you sedate you sedate appropriately just to reduce pain levels in the in the animal and then you go along with the process
after about an hour of careful surgical intervention, we're able to close the rectovaginal fistula and create the endos for this piglet that had atresia in now. For the first time, this piglet was able to pass feces through the endos. And then currently, about two months after we did the surgical intervention, this piglet is doing well, it's growing bigger, and then it's hopefully the owner may, may slaughter in a few months' time. I hope you found this video very useful and interesting. If you did like this video and then you learned so much from it, kindly share, like, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.